Cork men won't drink Guinness because it comes from Dublin. There's a huge rivalry between the two cities. So instead, this year, they took to drinking Johnny Jump Up, which was a cider. Now, this sold out very quickly, so they had to send over to England for emergency supplies. I say England, uh, and I say emergency supplies because it's an English drink, and it's an emergency because there's a, if there's a beer strike in Ireland, it's an emergency. <laughs> I know we probably have a couple of Americans here. You guys name your hurricanes, right? Yes, we do. Okay, well, Beer Strike Beatrice was a category three. <laughs> and they were in such a hurry to get the cider back, they didn't finish fermenting it in the factory. They said, we'll put it in the barrels unfinished, and by the time it gets to Ireland, it should be fine. They forgot that the old Murphy's barrels had previously stored brandy. And when the brandy met the unfinished cider, it kept cooking. By the time it arrived over to Cork, it was like rocket fuel. It had <laughs> illegal levels of alcohol in it. This is actually all a true story. This actually happened. They sent over enough cider to last three months. The Cork men, once they found out how special it was, they drank it in three weeks. <laughs> Which will explain, actually, why everybody from Cork is a little bit... <laughs> so uh, we're going to try and sing this song. I'll give you an example of it. We're going to learn by ear. Irish music is learnt by ear. So it goes like this. Oh, never, oh, never, oh, never again If I lived to be a hundred or a hundred and ten For I fell to the ground and I couldn't get up After drinking a quart of that Johnny Jump Alright, we all got it? <laughs>